What is up guys, this is Lycan Soldier, and today we're going to be doing something a little bit different for the Lycan Gaming Hub. I'm going to be giving you my first impressions on... Ooh, that's kind of... Whoa! Whoa! I'm going to be giving you my first impressions on Far Cry 3, which uh, I believe is out in Europe, but is not out in America yet. So this is a, a preview for Americans, but a review for Europeans. Uh, first of all, we're going to be going over here. So enough. Be enough. That being said, I'm going to find myself a car. But for anyone that doesn't know, Far Cry 3 is pretty much a uh, first-person shooter, which is open world. So, as you can see on this map here, well, not on this map here actually, but I'll get more into that later. Uh, pretty much, we can go anywhere. We can go anywhere we want, and that is the appeal of Far Cry. You can, you know, tackle situations how you deem fit. So, say for example, I come across a group of enemies. I could, uh, for example, if I have a sniper rifle, I can take them out from a distance. If I have an assault rifle, like my AK-47 here, I can go in guns blazing, or, you know, I can even just slash at stuff with my, uh... I want to say knife, but it looks more like a machete. With that being said, the first mission we are going to do is actually involving the map here. As you can see, like, our map kind of cuts off with these blocks, and that's uh, to do with these radio towers, which I'm heading towards. Basically, radio towers act as kind of like a scrambler for the map. And until you climb up this radio tower and destroy the little scrambly device, your map's gonna your map's not gonna be worth looking at at all. It's gonna you know, it's gonna be shit. So we will go towards the radio tower, which is somewhere off in the uh, horizon. And I'm gonna try and do this without getting myself killed. Really nice. What the Fuckness. Okay, I have no idea what actually just happened. That's new. So, a uh, change of plan. I think I'm going to go investigate that first, actually. I've got someone spotting me. That little... Basically, that little meter is an indication meter. So, it's kind of like a stealth thing. There is a bear in there. There's a bear and exploded... Tr Why do they have a bear? Well, this is new. I'm not too sure about this, but... I could always use bear. Right, now I'm going to have to figure out a way to... You can't die reasonably quickly in this game. Yeah, okay, they're going to spot me from there. They're spotting me already. So you can die reasonably quickly and, you know, the, the I'm only using iron sights on the AK. Because you can't have custom weapons, which is why this weapon has a nice skin. Oh, how do I want to handle this situation? But yeah, custom weapons and uh, you can include attachments, but I believe... Uh, at the moment, the AK is, you know, not applicable to have attachments. So let's just fire off in that direction see if they... Okay, so they're coming to investigate, which is good. Because that actually gets them closer to me. Because there's no way in hell I was going to be able to shoot them from that range over there. Ammo is kind of scarce. I'm going for headshots at the moment. Where you going, buddy? Right, okay. So these guys actually drop AKs. So ammo isn't as scarce as uh, it was with... Uh, I was using a different assault rifle before. To loot the bodies. Basically, looting involves, uh, you know, you just go up to them and tap E. There's a guy coming in the car. I'm gonna get back on my rock. My safe rock. Nothing ever bad happened on the rock. I think that's everyone dead apart from this guy. Yeah. There we go. I will go investigate that bear. I'm very interested in the bear. But looting is basically just, you get junk, a lot of junk items, which you can sell at vendors. And, uh, I, I'm not sure if you can actually get crafting stuff from... There's another guy over there. We're going to have to investigate this a little bit more. Just... No, two guys, in fact. Just a normal enemy. And, uh... Oh, okay, we got some rebels. This would be great. Okay, they're getting out on these guys. Basically, there's a war going on between these guys and, uh, those guys. So, basically, blue versus... Ooh, there's a shark in the water, too. Okay, fantastic. He's, you know, he's smoking. But there's a war going on between these two tribes, and basically we've, uh, we're on the blue side. Because blue's superior to red. But that's, well, that's not actually the case, but... There's a little bit more, but I'll get more into the story as I, uh, do a story mission. There we go, that guy's dead. Just give my AK a quick reload, and I'm gonna go investigate this bear, because, you know, there's a bear in here. What? Hey, bear, how you doing? Now, I'm not too sure what to do in this scenario. You know what, I, you, there is hunting, and you can, you know, you can skin animals, which I will show off later. 
But this bear, you know, he's not much of a challenge. He's locked in a cage. So we're going to let him live for now. I forgot my car, but, you know, hopefully we'll find another car along the way. I would go for a swim, but I have seen a shark recently, and that has kind of put me off going in the water. I mean, in fact, the Far Cry game has incredibly put me off water by, uh, you know, making me deal with a crocodile in my first quest. Or mission, or whatever you want to call it. There was a crocodile in the water, and I was like, fuck a crocodile, I'm not going in there. Also, a mechanic I haven't actually mentioned is that you can pull out your camera and, you know, kind of mark people and then I can see them wherever I am, basically. Which is a, you know, nifty little mechanic if you want to do stuff stealthily. What are these? Is these wild dogs? I'm not too interested in wild dogs, but they are going to attack me, which is, you know, bad news for me. Yeah, you okay, get off, you know. So I'm also, you know, Far Cry, you're also, you're also fighting, you know, nature, really. There's another dog near me? No, maybe. I don't know what's going on. You know, I'm fighting. Uh, I'm fighting the wilderness as well as fighting this uh, tribe of people. I knew there was a wild dog left. Okay, we'll leave the wild dog to kill him. Hopefully. While that's going on, I'll quickly show you skinning because there's not much to it. We just go up to an animal, hold E, and oh, that actually didn't do the animation. So I'm gonna. He's com still coming after me. Let's. Uh... Oh, he actually killed the dog. Congratulations on him. That's pretty hard, buddy. I will actually get more points for assassinating enemies, if you will. Well, it's not necessarily called assassinating, but... I've been playing Assassin's Creed recently, so... I've got assassination on the mind. So we will try and sneak up on this guy. He's through here at the moment. We can see him on the mini-map. He does actually show which direction he's facing. So he's over here a little bit? Yeah, there he is. Okay, no, he's seen me. Never mind. But you can assassinate people and you've got bonus XP for that. Just quickly loot these guys' bodies... You got anything? These guys are actually stopping because they've seen the dead bodies. So maybe we can show an assassination quickly. Alright, okay, they're going this way, so hopefully we can see them. One guy's coming over here. I'll show another mechanic quickly. You can actually throw rocks to, uh, you know, distract enemies. So that guy's been distracted by the rock. Okay, well there's an assassination. It wasn't too stealthy, but it was an assassination. So let's uh, let's throw a rock over here, and hopefully, if the guy reacts in the way I want him to. Wait, where'd he go? Where is he? Where's he gone? Let's throw another rock over there. He's, he's gone. <laughs> where is he? Where? Where the hell did he go? Oh, there he is. Okay, let's quickly assassinate this guy. There we go. And then, as you can see, I can get XP. And XP is related to, um... Zipline. Hmm. Well, I'm obviously not meant to be using that from here, but whatever. We'll ignore that. But XP is related to a uh, skill feature. Ooh. Wrong one. Skill feature. So we have three uh, basic classes, I guess. Which is a stealth class... A assault class and I guess a long range sniper class. And you can put your points into whatever you want to. And it essentially goes into this system. I actually have a point now, so I guess uh, let's let's put one in something. Let's um I can't buy this. Okay, I have to buy the cook grenades if I want to buy anything else from this tree. So what should we buy? Oh again additional health slot. We could get a uh, silent Oh no, I've already got that one. What am I doing? Improved first aid. Oh, what have we got in here? Take down drag, expert swimmer. Lots of good stuff. Well, we would. I want to get running reload, so we're going to get this, and then I'll be able to get running reload. Next level. Basically, get a little thing that tells you about the um, the ability you've got, and then if I go out of this, you'll actually see it's kind of cast in the way of uh, whenever you get a skill, you get a new tattoo. And that is, uh, you know, I thought that was pretty nifty. What on earth is that one? Is that just a normal pig? Or just some pigs? I'll probably leave the pigs unless they fuck with me. Which they probably will. You know, I'm just going to kill the pigs. There we go. They can... They probably won't do anything about the grenade. Because they're pigs. They don't really know what a grenade is. And we will skin the pigs. 
So that is the skinning animation. You just take the hide and then... Uh, whoa, whoa, whoa. I just explained the uh, skill tree, so let's explain the crafting. Because that is uh, pretty much in the same menu. So if we just kill this last pig and put the pig hide in our bag. If we go to this menu again, which is just on escape, and we go on crafting... We can craft a series of different items. Arrow quivers, because there is a bow in the game. Uh, ammo, munitions, flamethrower, fuel slings. If I wanted a flamethrower for whatever reason, I can't actually make one of those. So let's, why not? Let's well make a thing for a flamethrower. Uh, loot rucksacks, that's essentially, essentially your inventory space. Wallets for money, weapon holsters for more weapons. And syringe kits to hold more syringes. Syringes are made from... Um, plants you find around the world basically so say if I find a red plant I'll get a crimson leaf and I need two to make a little fireproof thing that uh, basically eliminates burn damage for a short period of time you know there's a bunch of them probably the most useful one is the medicine which quickly heals two health bars really easy to make just find green plants and that is pretty much crafting you know it's actually a really fun little element like the um, the hunting and stuff is actually really fun in this game Anyway, we should continue on to this radio tower, and hopefully I'll find a car soon. If not, I might put in some super speed editing. So I'm actually... I've changed my mind. I don't want to swim anymore. <laughs> the thought of... Uh, it's just sharks, man. Yeah, scary motherfuckers. But we are actually coming up to the radio tower now, so we will see how the radio tower mechanics work. Actually, my first experience with a radio tower, which the game actually guides you through, I'm not sure if this was random or if it's actually put in place to scare the shit out of people. Um, there was a snake right near the bottom of the radio tower, and it bit me. So that was a pretty interesting experience. There's actually a car coming up behind me. Hopefully it's friendly. It's not. But it's going off in a different direction. So now our objective is... This is very overgrown. Uh, our objective is to climb to the top. Very simple, yet, you know, pretty treacherous if you fall off. Because you will most likely die. I, it hasn't happened to me yet, but I'm, I have no doubt it will at some point. Also got some, what is that over there? Deer and wild dogs attacking them. Oh no, that's not, what is that? Wild dogs and, oh boar, okay. So the camera's quite useful, it functions as binoculars as well. You can take pictures, but I don't really know what that's for. Unless it just actually takes screenshots and I've spammed a folder somewhere with screenshots. Because I actually didn't buy this on Steam because it's not available in the UK for Steam for some reason. So I brought it through uh, Green Man Gaming, for anyone that's interested. That is, it was exceptionally cheap. With a uh, promo code to get 30% off. Which was an awesome deal, may I say. We will continue on the top here. This one actually looks like it's going to be quite easy. There have been other ones that have been more difficult to get up. What is that out there? Is that just a... Uh, that's a boy. Ooh, there's a crate containing $38. Uh, we up the top. This is a little box. Okay, here's a little box. So basically, we're going to take out this. Just give it a few whacks. And, uh, you know, just tear everything to pieces. And flip some switches for the bitches. And basically, we get a nice little cutscene. Show us the surrounding area. So there's a, a big-ass cannon for some reason. And a little camp. So just showing you, like, points of interest, I guess. That actually looks pretty interesting. There's a ship or a plane or something. I'm not too sure. And you get a satisfying little thing of, you know, you get to use a zip line at the end. If I can actually do this and not, not die. Oh, we've got another skill point. So let's, uh, let's put another skill point. Let's get the, uh, the sprinting reload because I'm, I quite want that. There we go. Lovely. I can't get used to, uh, stopping to reload after playing Battlefield. And I get the recurve bow and the SVD. So some long range and some, uh, ooh. Just gonna get out of sight so they don't see me. There's a few treasure things around here as well. So we get those while we're here. One seems to be in here, under the water. And that has $23 in it. A nice little stash. Money primarily is uh, not hard to come by at all. I find money quite frequently in this game. And I've spent most of it on, you know, custom attachments and paint jobs for my guns. Which is probably not the best use of my money, but I'm not going to complain. I like custom paint jobs. Guilty pleasure of mine. So we will next... I might get attacked by people. No, they're driving off. Okay. Next, I am uh, going to go do a story mission, I believe. So, 
I will put an annotation up on the video which will skip past the story mission if you don't want any spoilers, but I feel like if I'm going to show this game off, we should indeed show some of the- Ah, they did spot me. They're not coming after me though, so we're just going to continue on and get out of here. Beautiful game, by the way. I mean, you can tell just from just from this vista. Absolutely gorgeous. I mean, uh, I'm currently playing on 720p just for the sake of, uh, you know, I've only got one hard drive and Fraps is not a uh, happy... Whoa, nearly fell off the cliff then. Uh, Fraps is, you know, it's not too kind to my hard drive when I'm playing games and recording. And uh, I wanted to give this game justice and have it, you know, going smooth instead of stuttering all over the place. I actually have an animal over here. No, those are just rocks. Got a few people over there, though. Ooh, they're shooting at dogs. It seems. Right, after a short little journey, guys, I have found my way to the mansion, and we're gonna go continue. Ooh, pretty shiny, shiny, pretty thing. It looks like I can make it. Ooh, only just, <laughs> Jesus. Shooting the cage will free the animals. Oh, okay, there's the animal. It's a, it's a cassowary, a, a bird. Basically, I'm pretty sure if I open the cage, that thing would just run off. 